Nothing travels faster than light, as far as we know. The speed of light in a vacuum, 186,282 miles per second, is the cosmic speed limit. That's pretty quick. It would get you to the moon in just over a second. In 1905, Albert Einstein published a theory called the Special Theory of Relativity. It tells what happens to any object as it travels faster and faster. Suppose a spacecraft left Earth and started to accelerate. And let's suppose it has a very advanced propulsion system, far more advanced than anything we've invented yet, so that it can reach speeds close to the speed of light. Anyone on Earth watching the spacecraft would notice three things happening to it as it reached very high speeds. It would get shorter in the direction it was moving. It would gain in mass and clocks on board the spacecraft would be seen to be running slow. It sounds like science fiction but we know that the theory of special relativity works because it's been tested over and over again. For instance when particles in an accelerator like the Large Hadron Collider are sped up to speeds close to that of light, their masses increase exactly as predicted by Einstein's theory. And if the particles are unstable, they decay more slowly. In other words, their lifetimes are stretched out by just the amount that the special theory says. It's good news for future high-speed astronauts because thanks to special relativity, they could, in theory, travel across huge distances between far-flung stars and even between galaxies in just a few years, providing they're moving fast enough. The downside is that although it may be only a few years to them on board the spacecraft, back home hundreds or thousands of years would have gone by. Einstein's theory also explains why nothing can be sped up to the speed of light. Anything that has mass when it's not moving gains mass as it speeds up. By the time you reach 90% of the speed of light, your mass would have doubled, and the problem gets a lot worse as you edge closer and closer to light speed. At the speed of light, your mass would be infinite, and since that's obviously impossible because it would take more energy than there is in the whole universe, nothing can ever be accelerated so that it's moving as fast as light. What about light itself? It gets around the problem by having zero rest mass. Light is made up of particles called photons. An individual photon can only travel exactly at the speed of light. It can't travel any faster or slower. From our point of view, a photon takes a certain amount of time to travel between two points. For instance, a photon leaving the surface of the Sun takes just over eight minutes before it can be seen by us on Earth. But from the photon's point of view, in the photon's own frame of reference, the distance travelled is zero, and it takes no time. Even if a particle of light were to cross the entire known universe from where it was given off to where it was absorbed, in its own frame of reference, the journey would involve zero distance and zero time strange but true. At the speed of light, the universe would be a point that lasted for an instant. 